is Shireen Vishmaya in San Francisco, California again on Venus Day, my favorite day of the week. She's my girl and it's International Women's Day, so what better day to make a dedicated video to the planet of love and the goddess, I should say, of love and beauty and money. And she's in Aquarius right now. So she's uh, got a few more weeks in Aquarius. So I thought we could talk about the lessons of Venus going through Aquarius. And before she moves into her sign of exaltation, Pisces, she's got some really powerful things to teach us. And I'd been thinking a lot about the lessons, actually going back to a trip I had in Los Angeles on Valentine's Day, because I feel like I really learned the Venus and Aquarius lessons then, even though I don't know if Venus was even in Aquarius, but the sun was in Aquarius and it had me thinking about Aquarius and love together. And that's because I was just coming out of, like during, you know, I don't know if you remember, but that Valentine's Day weekend was right before Chiron left Pisces. So it was a very intense purification. That's when I was like just coming out of my deathbed flu thing that I've been talking about. But it was more than just a flu. It was like a deep, deep karmic purification of energies like that you go through when you're going through a deep chrysalis death rebirth process as I had talked about in the um, new moon in Pisces video which by the way I'm back making videos so please subscribe to my channel if you want to um, get regular updates because I'm finally getting back on track here after a little absence of uh, travel I can try to make up for lost time now and um, I'm gonna be making a lot of videos um, more series videos about a, a series of videos rather about some topics that I've been dying to make videos about including quincunxes and dream more stuff on dreams so stay tuned for that and getting back to Venus though number one topic of the day so when I was going through my deathbed um, purification karmic purification my I knew my body was preparing for something like when you get that sick you know it's like you're ready for this big death rebirth to give way to a new chapter in your life and I wasn't quite sure what I was I didn't realize I was probably letting go of like the last nine years of my life that whole Uranus and Aries cycle because Uranus also shifted signs so there was a lot of healing and clearing and cleaning out to do and letting go and it's just like all the stuff we're carrying around all those karmas and energies I did do just a lot of deep deep clearing so it was a gift it was a blessing in disguise but when I anyway when I went to LA it was that like last bit of Chiron and Pisces before Chiron moved into Aries on the 18th on President's Day and I really felt the shift so that weekend I was getting my strength back but I wasn't a hundred percent and it was Valentine's Day and you know when you're just coming out of being sick it's like you feel a little vulnerable and Valentine's Day already is like a little bit emotional and um, I had a really beautiful experience come out of the blue where I reconnected with an old lover and he was also having a hard time and we decided to spend the weekend together I had to teach most of the weekend but he um, was an angel he showed up at the airport picked me up from the airport with roses and chocolates and just was like the best friend to me all weekend was so amazing and took care of me and made sure I got to my classes on time and helped me with my dog Harpo and it was just like a complete godsend we were for each other really we took care of each other and that really showed me the the value of the friendship aspect of love and what Venus and Aquarius can really teach us because when we connect to that deep deep friendship you really know somebody's got your back and like if we don't have that in a love relationship we don't have much really I mean we might have passion we might have attraction but if you don't really feel like that other person has your back and you could call them if you need them uh, what are you doing you know and sometimes we don't realize we've fallen into these fallen in love with these narcissistic into these narcissistic traps where instead of friendship you're getting things like a silent treatment or the person ghosts you or they just disappear and when the going gets rough in a relationship that's when you see if the what the relationship is made of if there's a friendship or the person is going to really be there for you times of sickness I mean like they say in marriage like sickness and health or till death do you part and I feel friendship is the core of that and I I've been thinking a lot about that with Venus and Aquarius that we have to have a really strong friendship where you could talk about anything and you can work through things like you do with your friends you know you can have honest conversations with them and you 
you can you can reach out and know they'll be there when you really need them. And if you don't have that, I would tell any of my clients, if you don't have that in the, what you're calling a love relationship, it's not a love relationship, it's something else. So Venus and Aquarius, as the underpinning of a love relationship, can teach us that we've got to work on developing the friendship and to test the friendship aspect of the relationship. So this showed me, for instance, with my relationship over the Valentine's Day weekend, this goes back to like 1996, our connection. So we obviously have a deep friendship because if this many years later, we can just be there for each other when you, you know, and just know that the other person has got your back. That's a beautiful thing. That's a true, true love, true friendship. And our friend, it's the same with our friendships. I keep saying we need to put more romance into our friendships and more friendship into our romance. And we can see that with our friendships too, when we really value our friends, we're going to go the extra mile for them and treat them, spoil them and adore them. And with our lovers too, we should really work on being like their best friend and showing the friendship aspects of, you know, we need to have those things like shared interests, shared goals, shared belief systems. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, but like, definitely got to have like a similar value system or it's not going to work long term. Like you could have attraction, but if you guys don't believe in the same things, you're not interested in the same things, it's probably not going to last too long either. So, um, and Aquarius, more about Venus and Aquarius, Aquarius is the archetype of the star and the star energy is all about hope and wishes and um, after the tower, after the fall of the tower, after the ego crashes, once we get out of our ego trips, we can see things clearly. It's like we can really appreciate the beauty of reflection and being able to see things from a bigger perspective and appreciate, you know, more objectively what is being shown to us and what a relationship has to offer and what it means to be a really good friend in your, in all of your relationships. So this is the time during Venus and Aquarius for the next few weeks to practice our ability to be a good friend. How do we practice being good friends, especially to our lovers and of course to our friends and realizing there's really no difference. And in fact, the more intimate we get, which is what a lover is, we should have a really deep level of friendship because we're sharing deep sacred space, emotional space, physical space with someone. There needs to be a really deep friendship connection where there's trust and shared values and most important, like I said, I think that the person has your back and you know that they care about you and um, will be there. You know, there's all those songs about friendship. Um, and this is the beauty of Venus and Aquarius is realizing like the friendship is what endures and sustains the foundation of any relationship. So Anyway, I hope you're having a beautiful Venus day or night and wish you a wonderful last few weeks of Venus and Aquarius. Thanks so much for watching.